Hey guys, what's up? Case Kiral here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is how to build your own NAS network attached storage for your home with Raspberry Pi. Network attached storage often known as NAS which helps to create a local cloud server for your home. But why do you need a NAS for home? Imagine if you have a lots of devices connected to the same network, it's very tough to transfer the data from one device to another device wirelessly. So we will build a NAS server so that all of the devices can talk to the server. Also, they can see the files on the server with both read and write permissions. For example, if I have an Android device and I will copy all of my backup to the server so automatically other devices connected to the same network can have access to all of the files. Okay, enough talking about the theory. Let's build a cloud server for your home. For this mini project, you need a Raspberry Pi. I recommend a Pi 3 a Model B because it has a gigabit Ethernet port which is a capable of transferring a data up to 100 megabits per second. Then you need an external hard disk. In this case, I'm using 1TB a transient hard disk. If you're using any internal hard disk, make sure you have to provide enough power for the hard disk. Also, you need an Ethernet cable, a Dugu band Wi-Fi router, and SD card. Let's start first with the step number one. In this step, we will first burn the Raspbian stretch image to the SD card, which is a command line operating system based on Debian Linux. You can simply check the link in the description down below, which will take you to the Raspberry official website. Download the Raspbian stretch light zip file. Once you download it, go ahead and extract it to see the IMG file. Now connect your SD card to the computer and format it with SD formatter. Once you format it, download and install the Win32 Disk Imager and open it. Now locate for the Raspbian stretch image file on your computer, then click on Write to burn an image to the SD card. Once you burn image to the SD card, remove it from the computer, then connect all the things to Raspberry Pi and hook up the SD card, then turn on your Pi. Step number 2, Configuring Pi with Samba. Once the Pi completed the booting process, it will ask you to log in. By default, the root username is Pi and the password is Raspberry to log in as a root user. I'm actually logging into the Pi remotely using a secure socket shell, often known as SSH. Now you need to pay close attention here. There will be lots of commands that you will encounter in order to configure the NAS server. But don't worry, you will find all the commands in the description box down below. Okay, first type this command sudo apt-get install update to update all of the repositories. Then you need to install the ntfs file system package by typing sudo apt-get install ntfs-3g in order to work with ntfs formatted drives, in this case our hard drive. Once it's done, now you need to install the Samba package by typing sudo apt-get install samba samba common bin to install all the necessary tools to work with Samba. Now we will create a directory in the root for that type sudo mkdir forward slash external which will create a directory named external in the root folder. Now we need to type a command called lsblk to list out all of the connected drives through USB. In this case I have connected an external hard drive it is showing as sda1 but it is not mounted to any directory. Now type a command called sudo mount forward slash dev forward slash sda1 forward slash external to mount hard drive to the directory named external which we just created. Now go ahead and type this command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash samba and forward slash smb.config file to tell the samba server that we want to share the external directory by adding a few lines of code. 
Now scroll all the way to the bottom of the file and add these lines. Now once it's done, press Ctrl plus O to write the changes to the file and then press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now we're almost there to make a NAS server to work properly. Now type the last command sudo forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash samba and restart to restart all of the services. That's it, now you have successfully created a NAS server with Pi using a samba protocol. Okay, to see it is working or not, on my Mac I will open the finder, then on the sidebar you will see a Raspberry server. Simply click on that and then you will be able to see all of the contents in the server, I mean the contents of your external hard drive. I'm almost getting a decent transfer rates of around 11 megabyte per second both read and write speeds. If you want to access this server through your iPhone or Android, download the app named File Explorer and open it. On your iPhone, click on the plus button on the top right corner, then choose a NAS, then scroll all the way and in the network neighborhood, you will see your Raspberry Pi. Click on that, then choose login mode as a guest, since we haven't added any users. Now you will be able to access the NAS server on your both iPhone and Android. On your Windows computer, open File Explorer, click on the network, then wait for a few minutes, then you will see a Raspberry Pi, that's it. That's how you can build your own cloud server with Raspberry Pi for your home. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Also, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is your host, KSK Ryle, signing off.